Hi there and welcome back my friends to Stellaris on the highest it's level and to Snail Wars. And look at that, we've had a problem, we've had too much influence. Oh, what shall we do? There's a few ideas. The robots have misused us in the past. And we could, I mean they're pathetic but their fleet power is equivalent and maybe we would stand a chance against them, you know? And because of that... We should maybe... Add claims. Add claims. Look at that. We we'll add some more claims to them. That will not make them happy, but we're pretty convinced that they are not they do not belong into this into this galaxy. It would not be good to have them here. It would be good to have this in our own country. Maybe maybe that's double claim. Or maybe that's maybe that's foolish, I don't know. Let's see, let's make claims. Make the claims. We have the claims now. We can double them later as well. So it's not bad. So it's not bad. We have claimed them. We're the only one not accepting additional refugees. The Vivisandia claiming as well. Ah, so that's, I mean, that's risky. We, we should not start a war against these guys while the Vivisandia is claiming left and right. That's definitely something. Their fleet power is also superior because they are inside the evil axis. <laughs> that's it, eh? That's it, that's the axis. And that's something we've claimed now. We have the second progenitors here. They are though fanatic xenophiles. I mean, could we declare war on them and conquer? Mongols have declared war on each other. We have mastered a new technology. Not really. Who has declared war? The Senec interface. On the remnants of the Wen. A civil war against these driven assimilators and we have shield harmonics even better shields let's see what we can go for next uh, energy would be nice but I think we'll pick just shields shields <laughs> and more shields because shields are pretty damn nice and uh, yeah, I don't look at this. This is our science nexus here. We have a second science nexus that was improved. Theoretically, at least. By 50. Through a sacrifice of sorts. Seems like that didn't work. Nice. So we sacrificed one scientist for nothing. question is what next there's a lot coming up I mean in the end uh -huh. in the end we could maybe really start to buy alloys because there's there's nothing else that we can do if, but it's I mean it's totally crazy to buy alloys it's just not a good option. <coughs> we should build alloys, but we don't have enough to build alloys, so we have to... Oof. I mean, when when energy stops to matter, right? So, 
uh, we'll think about a new mega structure for a short time at least let's see what we can build and where ring world site dyson sphere site sentry array site strategic coordination center site mm. that's something we'd want to have and the question is where Where can we build that thing? Can we build it here? No. Obviously not. Doesn't work. Uh, we can build it here. Ah, nice. Okay, okay. So that's a new info. We could. I mean, we shall overcome is also pretty damn... On that thing, any Nessa. What is that? That's a barren world. It has nothing. I mean, Nessa is not a, not a bad place for that strategic coordination center. We've got to say. As would probably would be friend of the shell, right? But Inessa is closer, and it also has yeah, it's pretty important just to just just that. Uh, so Inessa, at this barren world here. Yeah, let's start build that center. That's a pretty good idea. Zarklands Crusaders. Mm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. There's three and a Titan coming. Still producing. Should be fine in time. We'll see about what happens then. Can we actually use Sarkland's head again? Activate another relic while relic activation cooldown is active. Yeah, that's still still waiting for it to get better. We need tons and tons and tons. Look at that, we have 50k now with Sarkland's Crusaders. That's pretty great. Do we have the Titan right now? Yes, here it's the Pegasus. Pretty nice Titan. Looking forward to that great thing. Xeno mongrels have declared war on each other. Uh, we're getting claimed left and right. The Srakon Conservers, the Stagnant Ascendancy. Declared war on the Dual Hive. Fanatic materialists, my goodness. What do they want? I mean, it's high time that, that some fallen empires wake up, but they don't want to do that, it seems. That's pretty crazy. And this is also something that we'd like to have, but... Hmm, 
Don't know. Don't know. We have mastered a new technology. So we have the new coming in and here. Administrative efficiency. Restructuring the managerial web. And as we're at it, we'll go for starbase capacity as well. Gonna be a pretty good thing. Co uh, protecting another planet, probably in our home turf. Only later will we move into this with big stations. What's going on? What's going on here? Pretty chill. Let's see, tiny jewel. How's that thing going for us? Uh, yeah, let's actually add. Whoop! What happened there? There was someone removed. There's two undesirables still, but that will not change what we have here, thankfully. Whoo! That was close. Yes, yeah, so we need food most. That's why I took this for now. We'll have everything in time. What do we have here? Teeming farming caverns, mining sites and generator areas. Yeah, that was pretty good. Let's have a look around. Construction complete. Hmm. We have mastered a new technology. Let's see. High density munitions. Let's go for something cheap again. Yeah, kinetic weapon damage. Here we go. We'll just have such a strong fleet that no one should be able to stop us. Maybe except them, the Vivisandia. We have never really seen their fleets. Where are their fleets? Here they are, I think. They are in motion. Let's have a look. What do they have? Wow, that's really a big, big, big combination. That's... 100k, 100 and 180, that's 280k, wow, that's 320k fleets, what? That's a little bit much. Okay, it would not be good to, to challenge these right now, but what can you do? Claiming the systems was never a mistake. Oh well, let's have a look around. It's a Levi Star Dynasty. It's growing as well as the Drul Prefen Galactic Hegemony. Wow. 
they have no they are some kind of a computer generated empire probably very very dangerous though let's let's have a look what they have they have just unity they're traditional strong conservationist oh the shoe shrew awakening and We're still getting disturbed somehow. The Visandia, the Ubriki, everyone wants a bite of us. Scientific ambition. Revolution, I mean. Architectural renaissance. Will to power, that's the main thing. Come on, will to power. And here... Uh, wow, we need more. Wait. What's lowest? I don't even know. Um, Buy some rare crystals. don't know I mean that's seems to be in some kind of balanced state but really it is probably not Construction complete. I know we're struggling to get our lawyers in to start all the world wonders and if you cannot start world wonders even big pie well thank you for watching and happy gaming to you it has been a little bit quiet in the end but you know that we are waiting a bit i know that i'm pretty exhausted for today we'll go for more fleets in the next episode we'll defend our realm from the vivisandia star confederacy and its evil axis its axis of evil its star axis of evil a great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Immortal Khan signing out. See you soon, my friends.